Today, we're talking to Mikey. He built a 40-foot-long batted cage in his front driveway. It's really impressive. He worked nights and weekends to get this done for his son. They wanted to practice baseball during COVID, uh, so he did this all for him, and it came out great. He even has an automated ball return built into it out of PVC pipe. You got to check it out. Let's get right into the interview. So Mikey, thanks so much for joining me on this call. It's awesome to talk to you. You did uh, such a huge build. I was impressed by the the size of it all, right? I mean, you really put in the work, I can tell, but um, you, you made a batting cage, an awesome batting cage, right? Tell me about how you got started with the project. Well, during, uh, during the coronavirus and stuff like that, you know, we weren't able to go to the park and play ball or play catch or anything like that. And, and, uh, I didn't want my son to go another year without swinging the bat or throwing the baseball and stuff like that. So, you know, my wife said, Hey, well, since you like building stuff, why don't you build, you know, cruise a batting cage? And I was like, you know what, that's not a bad idea. And then I started deciding, okay, my backyard's not big enough. Where can I put it? And I was like, well, the only place is the, the, you know, the driveway. So I went online and I started searching like, you know, pipes, what kind of pipe I was going to use galvanized pipe to begin with. And I was like, I was checking out the cost and, and everything. And then the, you know, the connector pieces and stuff like that. And I was like, wow, this is, there has to be something else. There has to be some better, some easier, less expensive. And then I came across you guys. I Googled it, you know, I was like maker pipe. I was like, wow, that's okay. Let's check it out. Let's see what this is about. And then I started seeing that you guys, you know, used half inch EMT and three quarter inch. And I was like, okay, well, you know, baseballs. I go, let's, let's go with the three quarter. Let's check it out. So I did, you know, I read the reviews and stuff and I saw some videos and I was like, you know what, this looks like it might work for what I'm trying to do. And uh, sure enough, I, you know, I placed an order, uh, got a few pieces went to home depot bought the emt and i was yeah at first i was a little skeptical. i was like okay let's see if this three quarter inch emt is gonna work right. tried it, it it fit i was like wow okay so far so good this, okay let's try it. so i started adding some more pieces and pieces and and it, it, it was 20 feet long and i was like okay this this ain't long enough originally so you made it I, 20 feet yeah I, it was gonna be 20 by 10 and then i was like you know what? i gotta place another order so I placed another order and added, you know, added another 20 feet. And then I placed, I think, a third order for like bracing. I wanted extra bracing. And yeah, it, it came out great. I mean, so it, it was due, due to unable to go to the parks, unable to, you know, play at the baseball field and stuff like that. So it worked out, man. And, and I got to say, man, you, your product's pretty, pretty darn good, man. It was easy to work with and stuff like that. So you know, I'm I'm glad I found you guys on Google because I was really I was like this close to buying the regular connectors for like you know galvanized pipe. Right, right. The screw together galvanized connector. Yeah, sure. yeah. And it would have been I'm much more happier with the way it turned out now. I'm very happy. Great. Well, and all, um, all my friends and family, they're like amazed. They're like, dude, how'd you do that? I was like, well, you know, I drew it up, but I got to say, you know, Maker Pipe, they actually made the connections that I needed to you know, make it easy for me to build it. That That's awesome to hear, Mikey. And I'm, I'm glad you're happy with it. And I'm glad it worked out that it gave you a solution. I got to throw up a, a picture or two uh, that you yes. posted on the community. And thank you for doing that. But I'm going to just, your, your front yard or your front driveway, I mean, this is the pictures that you posted on the community. And I got to say, you've got, you got a lot of toys in your front yard. You're, you're using the <laughs> space. Um, yeah. You know, I always joke that like garages aren't for actual cars, right? But you're right. taking this one <laughs> one step further that like, you know, the front driveway isn't even right. for cars. It's from toys, which you know, I, I funny, love. It's you know awesome. what's funny is that trailer, the boat trailer usually sits along the wall there. And my wife's car sits where the trailer's at now. So I told my wife, I'm like, honey, I'm like, you wanted me to build Cruz a, a batting cage, right? And she's like, yeah, yeah. How's it coming? I go, it's, it's coming out good. It's going to work out. You're going to love it. He's going to love it. It's going to look great. However, there's a small little problem. You're going to have to park in the street now. She's like, what do you mean? I go, because I got to move the trailer over 12 feet. 
and there's not enough room. So she was cool about it. She was like, that's fine. Not a problem. So yeah, it, I, I'm fortunate to have a, a quite a bit of, of driveway. Like it's like 45 feet all the way out. And then it kind of angles toward the front door. So I was very fortunate to have that space that I can use for the, for the batting cage. Well, shout out to your wife. She sounds like she gets it and is awesome. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's super awesome. cool. Uh, but here's some more of the pictures. Oh, there, there it is before batting cage, right? You got correct. a good size there. That's and then correct. I love this photo because it's just like total transformation. Bam. Bam. Yeah. yeah. And it is big. It's 40 foot long. It's 43 feet long and 10 feet wide and uh nine feet tall wow there you are working hard at it i can tell you worked hard on this right oh yeah yeah and i gotta say 80 80 to 85 percent of the of the work was done after my shift after because i work i'm a lineman so i get home and you know, I'd, I'd get home at four or five, six o'clock at night. And then I'd put an extra hour or two in it. And, and it was, it was, it was tiring. It was, it was, it was a big project. Yeah. Well, hats off to you for doing this, you know, not on, you know, free time. I mean, after your job in the, right. in the evenings, after you put in a hard day's work as a lineman, I'm sure hats off to you. That's, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, is is this one of the the later photos? Is that pretty much? It's pretty much done, yeah. And as you can see too, I I added a a a ball return tray on the right side, so oh. I got tired of pitching the balls. And when the pitches, you know, when the balls end up in the back of the backstop, we would have to go put them in the bucket, and I'd have to walk back and you know pitch another bucket. Well, this time, all he has to do with my son or whoever's batting is pick up the balls and dump them in that tray. And what they actually do is roll all the way back down to me and refill that bucket that's in that corner there. Oh yeah. The, here's the bucket right in the corner. That's yeah. super smart. I love that. Nice touch. Yeah. yeah. I was, yeah. A lot of people came out here and they're like, man, I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> that is cool. I like it. Is it like a gutter or PVC pipe or something? Yeah, it, it's it's PVC pipe. And then that one, it, it's kind of like a little a plastic gutter. Exactly. Oh, sweet. And then you've got the ring cam. I got the ring cam, right? Right. Yeah, that's great. Um, well, fantastic. But, you know, uh, I appreciate you posting the pictures on the community because a, a lot of people definitely are going to get a kick out of this. And that's why we wanted to talk was because it was such an awesome build. And I know you work so hard on it. And as you know, as far as maker pipe goes, it's a pretty, pretty big structure, like, you know, three quarter inch conduit has its limits and you had to brace it in certain spots, but right. it's a good size structure. So you know what I, you know what I found though, I was, like I said, I was a little spectacle about using the three quarter inch pipe because the spans are 10 feet across. So I was like, how's this going to hold up with the weight of the net and this? How are, how are the pieces going to hold up? How's the EMT going to hold up? I'll tell you this, man. I'm, I'm, it's, I'm amazed. The, 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 the connectors are awesome. The, the way you guys are incorporating EMT with your pieces, it works. It works, nice. man. And, and me building this now, I can honestly tell you, you could, uh, the build is limitless. You can, you can pretty much build anything you want, you know, right. as long as you design it right. Yeah. I think that's a big part, making sure you design it right and reinforce right. it. Right. Um, but that's, that's what we've been trying for is like a good balance between the price, right. And the strength. So somebody right. that wants to put together a batting cage and doesn't want to spend a ton of money can right. still make it happen. Yes. You know, so that, that's great. Um, thanks for that feedback. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, would you, let's walk through kind of yeah. your process of building it. Cause I, you got yeah. your cell phone there, which is awesome. Yep. Let's check it out. Okay. So first, the first things that I did is, uh, the first thing that I did was draw it up on a piece of paper. And as you can see here is I got a couple of, uh, couple yep. of drawings there. And I already, as you can see here, I have, uh, 10 45 degree connectors, 480, 
and stuff like that. So that's kind of like the starting, what I started with. And then when I added the bracing and stuff like that, I kind of drew this one up. And like I said, I just did, you know, the first, I, I put up one piece of EMT and then I added another piece of EMT and a, and a third piece. And then visually I started seeing it and I was like, wow, this thing looks like it's going to come out pretty sweet. And now that we open this, dun, dun, dun. the reveal. Dun, 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 dun. So as you can see here, I, I left a little walking space from the trailer and the batting cage. And what I did here, this is the entry point here. So you basically just got to reach down, lift up. And then I got a, a pitching net here. So whoever's pitching doesn't get hit by the balls coming back. And here's, here's the, the return. So that's where the balls empty out into. I got a little table in case the kids bring drinks or their bags. They can set it there. And then I got this big trash can where the bats are and stuff like that. Nice. But here, as you can see, the bracing. Every corner has a has a brace. And if you can see there, the attachment that I made, I actually got a three quarter inch like floor attachment and I, and I use a pipe wrench and I screwed that three quarter EM, EMT to add a little bit more uh, support because I had a little bit of a sway on the batting cage. But once I added that piece there and that one there on the garage, this thing wasn't moving. Yeah. Great. Yeah. That those threaded pipe flanges, they don't fit perfect on EMT, but you can get a pretty good connection, a decent no, one. No, yeah, anyway. they're actually, yeah, it, it was actually a pretty good connection. So what, when I started originally, I didn't have these pieces going across and this, this centerpiece here, which was fine. It still would have worked, but my concern was kids were going to stand on the outside and want to lean in or something. Mm -hmm. so, so I added that kind of like a, a railing in case they want to go out there and lean on it or, or for whatever. And these pieces here, every other, every other piece is a four foot piece. And I use cinder blocks and I filled the cinder blocks with concrete just to add weight. Not that the wind was going to blow them, you know, blow this away or anything, but just, just for security. And, you know, I'm always just to do a little bit more. Right. So yeah, that's a smart idea, blocks. Mikey. I mean, using the cinder block and then filling it with concrete, because I've seen where you might cast the whole conduit into concrete, but that's a slick way to do it. Correct. But all these joints right here, you can't see it, but all these joints right here, all those joints is the maker pipe connectors, all of these right here. And then what I did, I used the copper insulation. At Home Depot, you know, mm -hmm. that little, you cover the copper piping for your water pipes and your hot water pipes and all that. Yeah. I used it to wrap the EMT and then I used electrical tape to seal it. That's what took, that took me about a week alone to wrap this entire batting cage all the top, down, across, everything. That took a... That took a while. Yeah. Wow. So, but we got it done. And then this is the tray here, as you can see here. So if we look, grab the ball, a couple of balls here. If you drop them here. They roll there. They go all the way down. And they'll come out here. That way, when my boy see that, nice, yeah, that's great. So they come out all there. Wow. And then I had a friend of mine who donated uh, this artificial turf, and uh, just to kind of give it some color and some, you know, a little pop. Looks great. 
Yeah. Yeah, and it worked out. But but this is uh the the EMT with the, with the maker pipe connectors. It, it was awesome. It, it made it very easy to to add pieces to and stuff like that. So I mean, right. everybody who drives by here is always saying, "Wow, that looks awesome." Yeah, that's great. And that's that's kind of how I build stuff too. Is like I'll I'll put up the main structure and then determine what I need, right? Where does it need a little bit more in reinforcement, you know, cause it's really hard to get it right off the rip if you're not a engineer or something like that, you know? Right. Well, yeah, that's fantastic. So that's have what you it had the out. whole, it worked out. yeah. Have you had, uh, how's your son liking it? Have you had the whole team over? Like is, has it been working out good? You know what? I've been bringing, yeah, I've been bringing at the time coming over and, and throwing start start playing a lot more now that it's it's one hundred percent complete. Nice, that batting average going up. Yeah, he actually it is. He's actually doing pretty good. Yeah, that's great. Uh, what you, you mind sharing? What team he plays for? And and yeah, where we you guys play are at. at? Uh, we play at Westchester little league and our team, right? I mean, I would have preferred the Dodgers of course, but yeah. we're the, uh, the nationals. Our team is the nationals for, for little league. And we're, we're three and two right now. Nice. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. a pretty good season so far. Yes. Well, that's great. And, and you're the coach of the team. Yeah. I, I am the coach of the team. Yes. I've been coaching since 1993. Oh, wow. So I've been coaching for a while. Yeah, everything from, you know, Little League all the way up to uh, Sunday Sunday uh, baseball and stuff like that. Pretty competitive. Yeah. I, I yeah. have changed the way I coach a little bit with four-year-olds and seven-year-olds and stuff like that because, you know, a lot of times they just go with it where the ball goes. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole different animal i bet but boy mikey you're a busy guy i mean between the being a lineman and building this stuff and coaching you got a lot going on i'm sure yeah yeah and and do i understand right that you also do private lessons too and private coaching that is correct yes yes i help i help with pitching uh you know teaching kids how to pitch and and their batting as well um, it's very important at an early age for a young kid to, to learn like the basics of how to swing a bat, how to hold it, uh, how to throw a ball. You'd be surprised 50% of kids don't know how to throw a ball properly. And if you teach them the basics now, once they get a little older, I mean, they'll be throwing, you know, hard and accurate is what you want. Yeah. Yeah. And, and doing sports. I mean, I, I played baseball as a kid. I learned so many good skills. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. Sportsmanship and all kinds of things. So that's, yeah. that's awesome that you're, you've been doing that for so long. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. And, and I guess, you know, is there anywhere you, um, how should people get in touch with you if, if they're interested in coaching and that kind of thing? Uh, I could be reached at Solamente Angel at gmail.com it's one word solamente angel at gmail.com awesome cool yeah i i don't know if anybody's going to be watching in your area but uh right. or maybe they need you know advice or on even, the even, cage. Yeah. even zoom zooming you'll be surprised sometimes a kid is is just missing something it's like a little tweak it's not much just just letting him know hey you know you, you the way you're standing you got it you got to get wider feet or you got to get your hand farther back or the way you're holding the ball. So sometimes it ain't like an hour session or a two hour session. Sometimes, I mean, with a five or 10 minute talk fixes the problem that the kid's been having for, for a year or more. So, right. Yeah. And I, I, yeah, zoom would be a perfect thing. I mean, look at us. We're, we're talking on zoom oh, here. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. we've, we've really changed the way we communicate in these times, but that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you guys are doing good. I'm glad you're playing baseball and you're having a good season so far. Um, thanks for taking the time to show us your project. For sure. really Thank great. you guys. I mean, I'm, I'm glad I found you guys on, on Google, man. I was searching and searching and searching. And then, like I said, you guys came up and I was like, you know what? Let me, ch let me check this out. This looks interesting. This, this might work. And as you can see here, it, it worked. Nice.
Well, yeah, I can tell you're real creative and and a great DIYer. So that means a lot. Thanks, thanks, Mikey. You got it. Yeah. Thank can I do you. anything else for you? Any other things you want I'm, to talk I'm about? I'm sure I'm gonna be placing more orders with you soon for, for other projects. I'm always doing something. Okay. All right, right on. Well, definitely get in touch with me. Thanks again for the time. It was cool seeing the batting cage. Sounds good. Thank you. Appreciate right. it. Yeah, take care. Okay, you too now. Bye. Bye.